who in a leadership capacity allowed this to happen. An investigation into the Independence Police Department now underway after the city learned a police officer logged thousands of hours of overtime for non-police related work. As HB4119 reporter Jessica McMaster has been breaking details of this investigation throughout the day online. She's live outside the police department. So Jess, what else have you learned about this investigation? Kevin, today I learned this police officer made more than $100,000 in overtime in one year. It's work paid for by the people who live here in Independence and work the city manager says should never have been approved. What about this organizational culture within the police department ever made anybody think this was permissible? Independent city manager Zach Walker says a city police officer worked thousands of hours of overtime. The officer is paid to serve the community. Instead, he's been doing construction work on the city's detention center. The I team obtained a copy of an overtime sheet that details the work. The officer says the work is per Chief Halsley. Brad Halsley left the department in the fall. This was new padding in the detention center cells, um, you know, painting, uh, carpentry work, things of that nature. The officer in question logged 2,800 hours of overtime, racking up at least $160,000 in extra pay, according to Walker. That was not spent on any kind of law enforcement activity, was not out there responding to calls, solving crime, helping uh, a community member. That's really disappointing to me. In all, between overtime and regular pay, the officer made more than $200,000 last year alone. We only know about work in 2021. Um, the more we continue to look, um, it may have carried on even prior to uh, 2020 and beyond. Walker says maintenance staff could have done the job on the clock for the cost of only the materials. That one employee is taking home over $200,000 this year in salary and overtime is not being a good steward of the public dollar and, and is letting this community down. We asked Walker how this went on for so long without being flagged. He admits the finance department did notice the overtime and thought it was an error, but was given the green light by someone within the department. I don't think they had felt like they had the authority to elevate that either to their supervisors. The finance department's failure to flag the issue outside the police department, a problem Walker says needs to be addressed. A source close to the investigation tells us a sergeant and captain signed off on the overtime. Walker says the city will hire an outside firm to conduct an audit on the department's finances. We're told this began under former police chief Brad Halsey, but continued after he was gone. The officer in question is still on duty tonight. We're told that while city manager can take action against him, he's waiting until the completion of that audit. For now, we are live in Independence. For the I-Team, I'm Jessica McMaster, KSHB 41 News.